Spooky News, the Haunted Community's leading news program. With CT Haunts, Medical Snide, and Meteorologist Striker Reinhardt. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm CT Haunts. And I'm Medical Snide. And we have a lot of news to cover today. It is July 29th, and the big story on Spooky News is that today marks the one-year anniversary of Spooky News. And today we will be celebrating a bit of that with some history on how the channel started. So here's our lead anchor, Joseph Nyan, with that. It's crazy to think one year ago today I started Spooky News, which I, I can't believe it. It's been a year already. Jeez. Felt like yesterday, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and tell you how the channel started. It was one year ago today, flagship 2023. I woke up at like 6.30 in the morning to get ready to go to the store for the opening. And as I'm laying in my bed, I keep getting these ideas in my head. About like, should I start a YouTube channel about Halloween? Because I heard that gets you popular. And, every, and a lot of people like it. And I was going like these ideas in my head, like what should I do? Should I do unboxing? I don't really get that much animatronics. And it would be like one boxing, one boxing per year. And then what comes to my head? Broadcasting. Haunter community broadcasting. And that is exactly what I have been doing this last year. And since then, people have been just looking up to me to deliver them the news. Like, I have people messaging me personally, hey, can you make a broadcast about this? Can you do a segment about that? Um, people, episode ideas for Spooky 10, I expose people, um, which I don't enjoy exposing people. I only do that when I feel it's the need to. I'm not just going to expose some random person and just talk the same thing over and over again 10 times in a 10-minute episode. But all I really would like to say is thank you for your support. Really. It has just been... Honestly, a great first year of spooky news. And this year in 2024 will probably mark the first full year I've been on YouTube because I didn't start till mid-season last year. Um, my subscribers didn't start gaining until I changed from... It was originally called Spirit News. I had to change it for a very good reason because of copyright. I had to change that. Um, no, it was not because I was bored. That was a lie. I had to change it for copyright. I just said I was bored of it. And actually, I was bored of it because Spirit News, what sense does that make? But anyway, thank you guys so much for your support, honestly. It's just been great. I, I really appreciate it so much, really. I cannot thank you enough for your support already. When I first started, I was like 70 subscribers because it was my old account. And now we're at 563, which is crazy to think about. It's also crazy to think about flagship is two days away and I'm going to be seeing you guys there to whoever's going. But really, thank you for your support. It's just everything that you've given to me and my workers, CT Haunts, Metal Ghost 9 and Striker. They really appreciate your support, too. And they got subscriber gains like people found their personal channels and they just started subscribing to them. People know Metal Ghost 9 from Spooky News now. That's why he has 200 subscribers. When he started, he was at like 30 subscribers. It, no, wait, no. It was like 80. I, I, I don't even remember. But all I want to say is thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me. All right, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. You guys, it's been one year of spooky news, which is just absolutely crazy. Well, it's actually my first year, but next year, it's going to be my first one year anniversary of spooky news but it's actually one year anniversary of the original spirit news which congrats to my friend joseph mayan let's see all the good stuff soon and all the dreams that come true spare halloween has released the demos for bobby strings and the ringmaster so here's a look at that Haiti, Haiti, everyone want to hear a song let me sing it for you Oh, I know a naughty child who was so very bad. He ate up all my candy and made me real mad. So when I get free, I'm gonna fix him good. He's gonna bump heads with this block of wood. Ha <laughs> ha! Let that be a lesson, kids. Don't be a blockhead! Ka 
Welcome in, my ghoulish guests. My menacing menagerie can't wait to awaken your fears. I personally really like Bobby Strings, and Ringmaster's pretty cool. He's a little boring, but you know. So J.A. Hans had got a custom prop from Distortions Unlimited, and it is amazing. Like, it looks great. I like the spitting. I like the shaking. It's lights. It's all just really good, and I'm so happy he could get it. Yeah. I like it, yeah. It's time for shout outs. It is now shout out time, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we do in the spooky news team is that we choose many different um, subscribers who are in this channel and we choose them to be shout outs. So let's begin with that. Number five, Miko. Number four, Little Monkey Two. Number three, our good friend, Bobby Strings. Number two, Zombie Crash 7. And at our number one spot, drumroll please. Sinister. Congratulations to all of our subscribers who has been shouted out, everyone. So, if you want to be um, shouted out next time, please subscribe, like this video, or maybe comment wherever you want to you know so let's see who's going to be our next um shout outs in the next episode soon so flagship is in two days that's insane that we're so close i personally will not be attending flagship but spooking news will be there to say hi and look at the ises for 2024 so the last Spooky 10 episode was an exposure on Peekaboo for Life. And I gotta say, lots of details about that kid. And there was another video uploaded on him saying the N-word in a call with Friendly Badger. When I first thought of Peekaboo for Life, I thought he was a pretty chill dude. He showed all his props like Lucky Bottoms, Peekaboo Clown. You can name any other prop he owns. Whatever that. But... When I think of him now, I think he's just truly an asshole and just really disres disrespectful, in my opinion. The most disgusting person I've ever seen. I thought he was a chill person. He's just a little bit overreactive in one call that we did with Friendly Badger, which he, he was not going to be in a live stream, which he... The reason why he was not going to be in Friendly Badger's live stream is because he didn't want to get in trouble because of like saying like inappropriate slurs or something like that. And he uses like the N word hard R, which is just truly disgusting because you can't, you should not use that word. It's one of the the most disgusting things I have ever heard. Like for example. PewDiePie or um, Pokemon, whoever used those words, the N word, which is just truly disgusting and horrible when you say that word. I do not recommend to say it. It's not worth your career if you use that. So, kids, don't use that word. Well, that's about it, everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any news that are very important to us or everyone in the community. Anyways, I am Metal Ghost 9. Good boy!